Buck is at the spot. He must have smelled me because when I got here, he wasn't here. And then when I went to go get his corn, I found him here waiting. Come here, look. Yeah. Come on, Buck. Yeah, baby. Over here, look. More apples? Come on. Over here, turn around. Oh, okay. Happy Sunday, everyone. Yeah, Buck. Yeah, you okay? Let me shove this bag in here because I'm gonna get scared. Okay. Yeah, my big boy. All right, so Buck is at the spa eating his dinner. I got his butternut squash in here. He has a few grapes because my husband, he went food shopping this past week, but he forgot to buy like either grapes or strawberries. So I said, it's fine. As long as he bought the butternut squash, he picked out the apples, the right ones that I usually, that Buck loves. So I said, you did more than enough. So when I get a chance to go to the store, then I'll get him the extra goodies, right? For now, Buck, you get what you have, right? But at least you have your main course. You're dropping apples out of your mouth. Big boy. You're a big boy. I love this boy. He's so cute. You're so cute. You're such a good boy, right? He's a good boy. His antlers didn't pop quite out yet, but it looks like they're about to. Because I see the velvet, like, kind of coming through. So I'm feeding him his apples. Then when he's done with that, I'll put the butter in the squash. I put fresh water in his bucket. I had to restring his bucket because probably the raccoons last night or whenever early this morning, they must have sat in the bucket or something because they have a habit of sitting inside his buckets. So I had to restring his corn bucket and the water bucket. Yeah, you want to move him? There you go. Now Buck is eating his Sunday dinner. You want it in your bucket? Or no? It's up to you. You want to put it in your bucket? I could put it in your bucket. Sometimes he likes to eat half here and then half in the buckets, but I think right now he wants it here. Oh, Buck, you look so shiny. Look how shiny his hair is. He's such a shiny, and he's shedding like crazy, so he's definitely starting to shed the winter coat little by little. And the sun is kind of setting a little bit. It so, looks so beautiful. I love the way it looks. Like when the sun starts setting and I like I record a video, I take a picture. It looks so beautiful, especially with him. You make the pictures come out even extra beautiful, Buck, with the weather. This morning, it was so cold out. My husband went to go feed him. Right? Daddy, you went to go feed you this morning? Oh, my big boy. Mommy loves you so much. Mommy loves you so much. Yeah, mommy loves you so much. Look at all this hair that's coming off of you. Wow, so all this hair is coming off of him. You have the grapes, yeah, you have grapes. You want mommy to feed it to you? I'll feed it to you, my spoiled boy. You my spoiled boy. I tell my husband now we have a big boy and a little boy. <laughs> all right, you ready for your butternut squash? I gotta go dump this in your bucket. We'll go dump this in your bucket. I know you want it. I'll go dump it in your bucket. Come on. Come on, big boy. Come here. Come here. Come here, my big boy. Over here, look. Come here, Buck. Come here. So this morning, my husband fed him, but my husband forgot to take his phone. That's why we weren't able to do a breakfast video. My husband's like, damn it. I forgot my phone and died. I was like, I know. I noticed that. And I couldn't run out to go give it to him because the baby was awake and I was feeding him. At the time that my husband went to go feed Buck breakfast. So it's not like I could like, you know, drop the baby with the bottle and everything and go run and give him the phone. Because the baby would have started screaming because it was due for his feeding. So I was like, it's okay. I said, everybody will understand. But I always remember to take my phone out. The only time I forget to take my phone out, like if the weather is really, really crappy. That's the only time like I'll run out with the food and just try to hurry up and feed him. But if it's beautiful out and the sun is out, or even if it's cloudy out, I always remember. I have bread. Oh, wow, there's still bread from this morning on the ground. Because my husband threw a lot of bread this morning. I put fresh water for the little ones' bowls. They got fresh water. Buck has water. 
You finished already, Buck? Wow, you eat so quick. My big boy. He eats so, so quick. Ugh, I finished eating my dinner, my Sunday dinner. And now I got to spend time with him. My husband's inside with the baby because the baby fell asleep. So I told my husband I'll hang out here for 10 minutes, 11, 12 minutes with him. And then I'll run back in. Unless Buck leaves us sooner. Yeah, Buck, enjoy that branch, baby. Enjoy eating that because eventually daddy's got to go in there and clean it. And then my husband's going to take all that out, you know, because we've got to prepare the dirt for the seeds. So that's why I want him to enjoy the branch, like eating off of that branch because eventually we've got to remove it from there. Worst comes to worst, maybe I'll make my husband just drop it down the hill so Buck can still enjoy it, you know. I'm going to tell my husband, don't throw it out. Just dump it down the hill so he can still forge from it. Because he's been forging a lot from those that tree branch. I hear the birds singing. Oh, it's so nice. And my asthma's been getting better because I've been doing the pump like two, three times a day. So it's doing much better. That's why you guys don't hear me coughing. It's doing a lot better. And I think with the weather getting better, it's like, you know, it's not so cold out today. It's getting better. Because I notice when it's really, really cold out, my asthma acts up. Either when it's really cold or if it's like, like when I was in a hospital, it was like either the room was, <clears throat> sorry guys, <laughs> I feel like I can't cough my tongue. Either in the hospital room, it was getting either too cold or too hot. So it was like, it was just making everything like act up in my body. But now I feel much better because I'm home. And you know, we, me and my husband, we keep the heater like that it gives room temperature. At night, we pump it up just a little bit to make it a little warmer in the house for the baby. Especially right now that late, late at night outside and early, early in the morning, it's really cold out. So we try to like, you know, bump it up at night where it keeps the house warm throughout the whole night to the morning. Especially right now that the weather is still crazy, you know. It's March, but we know that March is a crazy month. I remember last year around March, I would never forget it was hailing at one time. So this weather is pretty crazy, you know? We have to expect it. Like Italians, we always say, us Italians, we always say, Marcio e il misabazzo, meaning like it's a crazy month. March is a crazy month. And it's true. It really is. Right, Buck? It's such a crazy month, my baby. Where's my big boy? You're my big boy. Now he's going to go eat more. His hair looks shiny. But I could tell that he shot in by his neck. Right, big boy? Mommy loves you so much. And daddy loves you too. My husband definitely grew a bond with him, being around him. Because my husband used to tell, him, tell me that he likes Buck, but he never said he loves Buck. But it's funny because now my husband says it like, oh, we have two animals. We have a deer, a dog, and then the baby. <laughs> he was like, we have three mouths to feed now. I was like, yep. But Buck is not that expensive. Honestly, my dog food is more expensive than feeding this guy. Right, Buck? You're not that expensive to feed. No, you're not. Especially Mommy sometimes finds your food on sale sometimes. But even his food is really not expensive. Like, it's a little budget on our, on our grocery list. Not a big budget. It's not like, you know, it's not a big deal where it's like, oh, my God. Like, wow. Like, our grocery shopping list is, like, so much more money now because of Buck. You know, it hasn't been like that. Let me tell you, feeding a deer is not that expensive. Because <laughs> apples, depending on which ones you buy, you know, they're not expensive. The butter and the squash is not expensive at all, believe it or not. It's like $1.19 a pound. So the one that I buy comes out to like two bucks. And it's a big size too. It's like literally half of the, my arm. So that's why I would never stop feeding him. Even if the food was a... Oh my God. What the hell? You just guys, I don't know if I got that on video. The doves, they just flew right... <laughs> That was crazy. Like I said, even if the food was a little bit expensive, I would never stop feeding Buck. Because he's so used to coming, you know, coming to the spot for his goodies. I could never abandon him. No way. I always told everybody in my family, my friends, because they all told me like, oh, when you have a baby, you might not be able to go out and feed that deer anymore. It's gonna, Life is going to change. I told everybody. I was like, guys, I promised this deer that I would never abandon him no matter what. Unless, unless, which sucks. The only way I would have no choice to abandon him is if I would ever have to move from this house, which is not going to be anytime soon. So, and before I, if I ever do have to move, me and my husband already, we have it all set up in our heads what we're going to do for Buck. 
Like we're gonna plant like strawberry bushes, grape, uh, grape bushes. We're gonna buy things that are already, you know, made. Where like you know, in the next year, a couple of months, like they'll start making the fruits. So Buck, he'll be set. I make, I'll make sure that I set him up for life. Like before I leave, like I'll plant all his favorite stuff. Right, big boy. But I know the day that I ever do have to move, oh, I'm gonna be crying. I'm gonna be crying. I'm gonna be so devastated to leave him, you know? But the good thing is my neighbor sometimes, she feeds him too. Like if I can't feed him, I'll text her and I'll be like, hey, can you feed him and just throw apples over the fence? So thank God Buck does have a lot of my neighbors that live around here that actually would throw apples. They won't feed him the way I feed him because Buck only trusts me, which is fine. Honestly, I don't want him to put too much trust into everybody, you know? Like, even my husband, you guys seen the videos, my, like, I posted my husband. Like, Buck is still like, eh. He's, like, iffy to walk up to the spot, but he'll do it. But he waits for my husband to walk away. Once my husband walks away, then he goes and eats. So, it shows that no matter what, how many times... My husband was feeding him for literally, like, four or five days straight when I first got home from the hospital. Because I couldn't physically walk too much. I couldn't, like, stand up too much. Now my legs are getting better. Everything's starting to, like, you know, I'm starting to recover. I'm not in pain anymore with my C-section, like, the cut. Thank God, like, even the hospital was like, wow. They were like, that's good. I haven't heard you complain that you need meds, like, you know, for pain. And I'm like, no, pretty good. So I've been doing pretty good. I'm proud of myself. I'm like, wow. I've been doing really, really good. And I try to push myself just a little harder to get strong so I could come out here and feed him and be with him. Just spend time with him because I don't want to, like, you know, stop spending time with him because I can't physically. So I did push myself a little this week to get out here and be with him. Just yesterday, the weather sucked. It was raining all day, guys. All day was raining. That's why I had to wait till, like, almost 6, 7 o'clock just to feed him his dinner. I had to come out later. Today, I was able to feed him at 5 o'clock, which is good because that's the time I plan on feeding him all the time. Because even on the weekdays, I could leave the baby with my mother in law for like, you know, 10 to 12 minutes. Can't stay out here too long. The only time I could probably hang out long with him is on Saturdays and Sundays now that I have a baby, you know? Because then my husband will stay with the baby. So even if I stay with Buck for like 15, 20 minutes, it's fine. My husband's in the house. But everybody else, they're scared to like stay with the baby for a long time because he's so little. <laughs> he's so little. I wish, I don't know if he looks little on the camera when I posted the videos of my baby, but of my son, but he's so little. He really is. He's so tiny. Put it this way. I had a, me and my husband had to order preemie clothes to put on him and he's not even a preemie, but he's so little that we have to put preemie clothes because the newborn clothes, he was swimming inside of them. There's only like one or two outfits of my newborn clothes that fit him okay, but I have him in preemie clothes right now. And I know that's not going to last long. Probably in two weeks or so. He's probably going to be able to wear all the newborn outfits. That's why I can't even put the Bambi outfits on him yet. Because he'll be swimming inside of them. So I have to wait. Which is fine. It's okay. And Buck is foraging over that branch. It's like a pine tree, but it's not a pine tree. I forgot somebody, my one of my subscribers, I think it was Nancy. She said it. What type of tree? I forgot what it was. Nancy, you're probably going to have to remind me again because I forgot what, it was, what type of tree it is. But Buck loves foraging over, like, out of it. So that's why I don't want to like get rid of it yet. The only thing, we just have to move it out of the way from the spot. Sure, it's not a raccoon coming up to me. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Not that I'm scared, but I don't want a raccoon sneaking up on me, you know? But it's not. Could have been a squirrel rumbling in the leaves. I always keep my eyes open. <laughs> Especially when Buck is far. I feel more safe when Buck is like close by the spot, like with the raccoons coming. Because I know Buck, he has, like, he keeps his eye on me, he protects me. All right, everyone, I'm going to get going because I have seeded bread that I want to fling now. I'm going to throw. I will be back tomorrow morning. I'm probably going to make an early video tomorrow. I'm come out here, try to get Buck to come to the spot a little earlier. 
because my husband tomorrow doesn't start in the afternoon. Sometimes he starts, that he leaves the house around like 12.30 at noon, but Mondays he leaves the house in the morning by like 10.30 a.m., 11, latest. So I gotta be, my butt's gotta be out here really early, you know, to feed him. I'm probably gonna come out like by 8 a.m., 9, like that, to feed him instead of 10. But like I said, I'll make videos, you know? If God forbid you guys don't see me making a video, it's either because I had nobody to watch the baby and I can't leave the baby alone. That would be the only thing that would stop me now from making videos. Not even the weather anymore. But hopefully, you know, I wake up. I'm gonna, well, I'm going to wake up early. The baby wakes me up early. So I can't say I'm not going to wake up early. I wake up every three hours for the baby's feeding. So I'm always up. But it's okay. It's all worth it. I feel blessed and thankful, you know, that God bless me with a healthy baby boy he's healthy and he's doing great and especially i'm blessed to have buck that still comes even after my husband was feeding him you know buck didn't get scared and like leave for good or anything so i'm thankful for a lot of things in life, my life this this year a lot i'm like excited over the moon excited and i definitely want to say thank you to all my subscribers that always like keep in touch with me you know with my post my videos thank you guys so much it shows me how much you guys care about me and buck you know my family i appreciate that i really really do i'm thankful for like awesome subscribers like you guys i really am but i will be back tomorrow morning with another video just tomorrow morning's video might be a little shorter than like you know the evening video because of the fact my husband's got to go to work a little earlier tomorrow which is fine so i'll try to make like a 10 minute video you know but I'll be back soon. So everyone, have a great evening and a good night. And me and Buck, we should be back tomorrow with another video. Tomorrow morning. Ciao for now.